Now, I mentioned at the top of the show that your, your full family's in acting. Your father was... Uh, a dynasty, yeah. A, a, a TV director? He was a di yeah, he was a director. Not uh, an actor, but just... No, he was a director. He did some yeah. of the sort of the big costume dramas of... Um, earlier years, he did the Six Wives, or some of the Six Wives of Henry VIII, um, Casanova, Marie Curie. So he was Is that when you used to go and, with him and see that We used sort to of go on a Saturday. Me and my brother would often go on a Saturday to the television centre in White City, and uh, it was like going into sort of sort of mini Hollywood, really. Um, you know, because in one studio you'd have Grandstand, then you'd have yeah. Dixon the Dot Green and Colditz and all those sort of shows. Because um, your I, brother's Philip, he's, that's right. he's Life on Mars as well. That's it, yeah. yeah. Um, that, so, that gave you the bug to do it then, I suppose? Well, I'd had the bug, the th it was the theatre really that I got the bug with, rather than telly, because I mean, I was right. at the, th the stage. Um, but that compounded it, I think, and seeing um, the way he, my, the way my dad worked, and what he did, and where he did it, and that sort of, the sort of mysticism that television had then for me as a sort of, you know, ten-year-old kid. But actors, you know, I mean, they struggle to get a job in both, in either one, really. Yeah. But you're fortunate to have got jobs in, in both, and have a... Well, I've been, to do I've been uh, yeah, I mean, I've been, I mean, I've, I've been very fortunate, but I've always, because I started in, well, I mean, I started on telly, actually, I didn't start in the theatre, but then I thought, I've got to learn how to do it properly, so then I started to work in the theatre. Really, I've is all, that where you think Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, because I didn't know what I was doing, the first play I did, where I played a sort of vaguely decent part, I happened to be at the National Theatre, and I wasn't very good in it, um, one of the early plays I did, and then right. I thought, I've got to go and learn how to do this properly, because I didn't go to drama school, I went straight into it from being in the National Youth Theatre. Um, is that the best way to learn, treading the boards or stuff like that? If you did it again, would that...? Well, in a way it is, but, I mean, I th drama school now is a way in. It's, it's, there's no other alternative, really. Yeah. But you sort of got to do it. Um, but, uh, but I've always maintained a sort of... Uh, I've always worked in the theatre. I've never not done theatre. I think the longest yeah. period I haven't done is sort of two or three years. Uh, and I try and do a play a year, and luckily enough, being, um, doing Hustle and Spooks over the last sort of eight and five years respectively. Isn't it um, difficult with, with doing what you're doing to get typecasted in something? Something like, you know, people know you from television, of course, the theatre is yeah. almost less known, but, yeah. you know, it's, TV, things like Hustle yeah, you, and stuff like you that. You can, yes. Ex I mean, but luckily, I mean, doing things like Hustle and Spooks, which in terms of the character was so different, because playing the Home Secretary and Spooks and then playing Ash and Hustle. Yeah. I mean, they couldn't be more diverse. Yeah. Um, so it's, uh, it's a question of, you know, Picking and choosing, and if one is fortunate enough to be able to choose a bit, then it's um, then you can avoid that. And then you've chosen well both now because you've got Hustle, which the new series starts on Friday. Starts on Friday, yeah. Next, and yeah. it's the final series. It's so. the last one. Yeah. The denouement. Yeah. After eight years. Eight years. Would you miss it or? Yeah, I will, and I'll miss the people, and I'll miss. Yeah. Um, it's a great. I mean, it's a fun show to watch. Hopefully, and it's, it's similarly, it's a fun show to do. Um, so it's, uh, I will miss it, I will miss it very, I mean, the last three years we've been doing it in Birmingham and we've had the same crew, so yeah. we'll miss them a lot as well. Um, but I think, you know, rather go out on a high than, than flog it to death until people get bored of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A bit like this, I'm off. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, we've got our tuna cooking, I'll just recap, we've got our tuna, I mean, this is, it needs <coughs> to be rare, rare in the middle. Mm. Um, a bit like the mackerel that Tom did, you can actually get away with that. That's the raw salad, it's, uh, Cauliflower, uh, sorry, the uh, cabbage, the red onion, the mint, coriander. It's got a bit of rice wine, vinegar, sugar, and coconut, because I know Tom wanted that recipe. So yeah. now you write it down now. Yeah. Uh, we've got some mint and coriander in this sort of raw salsa with some Thai fish sauce. Um, and that I'm going to all blend together and mix in some freshly grated coconut. It mustn't be sort of desiccated coconut, it's got to be the fresh one. You can mix this together into a puree, add some lime juice, and that's almost this dressing done really and you add the coconut to it like that as well and that goes on there and that's almost done some lime juice and that's our little sort of finished mm. as well <coughs> but um going on to the theatre yes We've got two shows today yeah oh Vic noises off um just down the road noises off i mean it was a it was a popular uh, it was a massive hit back massive well, hit 30 back years then. ago it started yeah. Uh, it was written, Michael Frame wrote it 30 years ago, and it ran for about five years in the West, West End. And there's been one revival since at the National Theatre about 10 years ago, and this is the, the, the next one, really. And it's, uh, it's great to do, audiences love it. It's a, bit like, it's a bit like doing a rock concert, really. I mean, they just go mad. You know, but it is yeah. very, very difficult to do, because it's a, almost a play within a play, because you see in the front as well as the back That's of right, the house yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, and it's almost like uh, there's a sort of bit in the second act, which is 
It's like a ballet and you have to choreograph it. Um, yeah. And it's people coming in, and, you know, in and out of doors. And, I mean, it's... Is that because you're relying, you're relying a lot of the cast as well, so you want... You rely on each other a lot, yeah. yes. Yes. And does, that make it, does that make it easier because it's such a good cast, or is it...? Yeah, I mean, it is a great cast and it's... Um, we all look out for each other and I think if something does go haywire, haywire then um, somebody can help you out. But it hasn't been... The thing is, because it's set in a the theatre yeah. and it's about things going wrong while putting on a play, if something really goes wrong, an audience isn't necessarily going to know. Right. Because of the nature of the, the beast, you know. A bit like this, because this is like only this. the second time I've done it. Yeah. Hence I'm hacking up these uh, bamboo leaves, but, yeah. uh, uh, these banana leaves, but the idea behind this, they just served it as a piece, but you can take a little bit of those, like that. What, and lay the tuna on it? Yeah, and then the idea is you've got this little salsa, this little thing, we build these up oh, right. on our little uh, slate, which yeah. we've got there. So, but it's hugely poppy this play. I mean, it's gone yeah. uh, so well for you. Do you think it's going to get extended as well? Because you're going to initial go run of yeah, we're going to go the first week in March, and there's talk of uh, it mo <coughs> moving into the West End for a sort of limited season after that. I don't know where yet, but right, um, that's on the cards. So watch this space. Yeah. And then after Hustle, anything else? Oh, lined no, up that you can no, tell I don't, us about? no, no, I don't know. A break, no. I think. A you break. More yeah, than yeah. Else. Well, I think if we go to the West End, then Noises Off will go through to sort of June time, early right. summer. So. Uh, Watch this space. Yeah. Watch this space. Yeah. Well, there you go. There's your Fantastic. dish. We've got your tuna, which is literally how it wants to be. I, I, but if you do any tuna anymore, it's a bit like steak. Any more than that, it's sort of not worth eating, really. Well, I also think it just it goes dry and That's it goes exactly yeah, flaky, and it. A bit like liver, really. You want to you want yeah. to have it like this. You know, yeah. a lot of people don't choose it because of. They just look at it, but mm. I think once you taste it, yeah, that's the key. And then you've got this spiced sort of. Um, I suppose it's Indian, Oriental sort of chutney with it, with a bit of kick because you've got the turmeric in there and everything else. Yeah, yeah. And then grab these cocktail sticks. Oh, I see. And we literally hold them up like that. Right. You can, of course, what they normally do is cook in these banana leaves. So they sort of steam the food inside. Yeah, or they yeah. sort of char grill it, roast <clears> it. But <throat> yeah. not the only one with a blowtorch over here. <laughs> What you do is you just do this, and the leaves change colour. Look, they almost go that lovely glaze. Oh yeah! And there you have it. Fantastic. My tuna with a spicy little thing. So the idea is you take it to the table. Yeah, I'm done. Dive in. Chuck It'll be in. hot and spicy that little bit of pickle, but lovely. Should be quite nice. My colleagues will thank me this afternoon. It will be hot and spicy. Yes. <laughs> There's water on standby because I put extra chili in. Very good. Yeah. Thanks for that. <laughs> Like mm. that? Mmm. That's good. It's so fresh. Oh, you did put some chilli in. I did put chilli oh. in. <laughs> 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 Warning. There you go. Right, we'll be cooking for Robert at the end of the show. That's he can eat, uh, if he face eating, that is. Uh, his food, heaven, of course, is chicken. The chicken is cooked slowly with white wine and stock, along with button mushrooms, shallots, tarragon, and it's finished off with tomato con cas, parsley, and served with a pile of mashed potato. Classic dish, chicken chasseur. Or Robert could be facing food hell. A duck breast. The duck breast is roasted. Uh, in a pan and then in the oven till the skin is nice and crispy and it's served uh, with a potato rosti flavour with a bit of creme fraiche and egg yolk uh, with a cherry and red wine sauce and some wilted spinach on the side. Some of our viewers and the guys in the studio get side Robert's fate today. I think you, you dive into that, you're liking that. Absolutely lovely, yeah. Uh, Tom, what would you like the sound of? Chicken, proper Chicken. lush, proper lush. Yeah. Proper Chicken lush. Julie, are you tempted? Oh, Duck? Oh, yes. oh I, th yeah. I was thinking it was going to be a whitewash today. There yeah. you go. But you have to wait till the end of the show, see the final result. Right, let's begin our journey to uncover the latest Celebrity Mars Chef. Four brand new hopefuls await and see Greg and John for their first challenge a flat fish filleting skill test. Think that's difficult? Very. It's difficult to say rather than do. It is difficult to say. <laughs> it's easier to do, though. Take a look at this. 